Okay, there we go. Newbie versus X Quest. Match number one. Peace against. What was the name? Xiaoke. Xiaoke. Newbie versus Xiaoke. And Xiaoke probably he was Royal Giant. And newbie Peace. Probably also Royal Giant. We don't know. Both of them starting with a furnace. Burning, burning, burning. Umberjack going for the Barbarian. Run, little Barb, run. I always think it's funny how they, those characters, they, they already turn around, but the other one isn't dead yet. They just turn around because they know it will be dead. And then they just walk away. Weird. Liam is OP with Royal Giant. Liam. Does he have furnace and and the goblin hut? Both of them, furnace and goblin hut. That's interesting. Just the barbs. Currently, it looks like like uh, Xiaoke is just hot spamming. <laughs> the arm from South Africa. Yeah, he's an amazing player. I have some good matches with Liam on my channel. Probably you cannot search for Liam though, unless he's in the title. Probably YouTube will not pop those search results because Liam is not in the title. Not always, maybe a few. Lumberjack actually hit the tower there. And don't forget guys, subscribe. The furnace getting Destroyed, baby dragon. This is match two that we're showing today. Newbie versus X Quest. A good fireball there. And the lightning. He looks very focused, the newbie player. Although he's always a little bit nervous, it, like he's always moving. He's really into the game. Lumberjack Barb. No Royal Troll, but <laughs> the Royal Giants on top, but they're very rarely playing him. Very rarely playing the Royal Giant at the moment. Really? I'm actually happy by the way, my voice really holds, so I'm very positive that it will be good on Saturday. I really need my voice on Saturday for the big live show. Number check. Goblin Hut. Baby Dragon versus Baby Dragon, it's so painful. So painful. Hell, I need the painkiller. <laughs> no, there's the Royal Giant. <coughs> Royal Giant going for the furnace. Then, does it turn around? No. No shot. No shot. It's a good start for newbie, actually. Towers on 394. Another lightning or two. All he needs is another lightning. Yeah, still tries. Lightning cycle. Yeah, that's what he's doing. There's the Royal Giant. Maybe he's gonna get there with Royal Giant. Maybe. No, there's another furnace to stop him. Maybe he should have stuck to lightning cycle. The Royal Giant getting one shot though and that's it. Yeah, you see? The moment 
he relaxes there he had that lightning ready and he just waited for the royal giant to get a hit and then he played the lightning which is actually really smart Dylan set number one Patiently, careful. Baby dragon. Chief, did you know the wall breaker's death damage destroys Skarmy, Goblin Gang, and Dark Goblin now? Uh, not exactly, but did you know that it also destroys air units? That is weird. The Skarmy now, when they explode, also air units get destroyed. That's crazy. So it's kind of bridge spam now. It destroys a whole Skarmy, that's crazy. And the whole Goblin Gang. Wow. So just put it with a Ram Rider and you're unstoppable. Hmm. Yeah, Ram Rider. Ram Rider with Wall Breakers. Very strong. I think, who was it? Somebody posted the video today. Or yesterday, was it yesterday, where they shown that it destroys air units. But I haven't tried it yet. But at least in the video it also destroyed air units. That's crazy. Like when somebody tried to defend them with a minion horde, they also destroyed the minion horde. On that video. Lava Hound against Minor Prince. Lava Hound against Minor Prince. Pushing with another Lava Hound. Inferno Dragon is still there. The Mega Minion is a little bit too late there. Lava Hound's already popping. And they cannot stop the Prince. But Skelly Baron. Check. No, it's the Barbarian. Barbarian getting one hit. Now a strong push. Oh, he's got Mega Knight too. That's interesting though. Minor Prince, Mega Knight. Really? <laughs> Minor Prince and Mega Knight. Look at the newbie team. They look so chill. Hmm. Time Machine. Dragon, maybe that one was played a little bit early. What about the Lava Hound? Pulling him, pulling the Inferno Dragon over to the other side. Other Inferno Dragon. Pull to the other side. Now there's Prince. Miner. Good prediction there with the Lumberjack stopping the Miner. Now the next Lava Hound. Lava Hound. Supported by the Baby Dragon that gets distracted though. Prince. Ah! Unstoppable Prince! That Prince was unstoppable! <laughs> but still the towers on 622 there. Now he's trying to push with the Mega Knight. Mega Knight and... Does it work? No, because there's a Tombstone. Going down to the Tombstone. Bar Barrel. Miners at least getting tower to triple digits there. Flying Machine. What about the Skelly Barrel? You gotta stop that one. With a defensive poison, but it's too late. XQ gets the tower and then it's 1-1. One, one. Exactly the way they do it. <clears throat> okay. Decisive match.
Then we're gonna go to the 2v2. The baby dragon, the princess on the other side. Already started with goblin barrel here. Spell bait decks. Classic goblin barrel. There's by the way a banned card. The golem and the inferno tower are banned card. Mega Knight. Mega Knight versus the Witch. <clears throat> Goblin Barrel. Put snowball. Yeah, Snowball, of course, when first time the Goblin Barrel meta was so strong, there was no snowball. Good push for the X Cube player. Cube. You see how he starts swinging when he's getting nervous? <laughs> if it's close, he starts swinging like this. Hmm. Have a good snowball. A minion and another lava hound countered immediately with the big boy. Newbie is really the newcomer here, very strong team, but it doesn't look so good right now. The XQ player gotta stop that lava hound. I'm not sure he can do that though, because that evolves into a really strong lava hound push. Also, the barbs they're going down. Baby dragon, still there. Love hound, still good. Not even with the goblin barrel can he destroy him. No, the snowball was good to defend. And the love hound, still strong. Love hound now going for the tower. Love hounds on the tower. All that damage done to the tower there. And Exu still pushing with his royal giant for the bottom right tower. But see the damage he's taking there. The damage is taking on his king tower and then there's a poison and the puppy's doing damage and that's a three crown win. Holy cow, look at how he's shaking there. All nervous after this. Okay. Let's see. So far all question marks. <coughs> no ball. It's not a well-rounded snowball, it has all those edges. Lumberjack. Lumberjack burned by the Inferno Tower. The bands are Tornado and Royal Giant. Those are the bands. Good Golem push, good clone. <clears throat> and then the fireball. The golem's still good. The golem's on the tower. Wow. Golemite's still there. And the baby dragon. Doing all the defense here. Good push for newbie team. The golem. Now let's see if they also double the wing condition. Which is obviously the golem here in this deck. Let's see, we, we've seen for the for the Hawk Riders that they usually double the Hawk Riders in those decks. And do not double the other cards usually. But keep them distinct. But here you already see that the Lava Hounds, yes, the Lava Hounds are double and the Golems are double. So that's what you do in 2v2 decks, you want to double your win condition card. Which is the golem or the lava hound here. And they actually doubled some more cards here, like the baby dragon. Making sure they always have a baby dragon to support the golem. And mega minions also, very important, both of them actually. So that's really a good example here on how to build 
tank decks for 2v2. Half the, the tank doubled and some of the support cards doubled. And kind of they have the Inferno Tower and the Inferno Dragon there in the Golem deck. They have both the Baby Dragon, so it's really more doubled here for tanks than it was for Hawk Rider. Because Hawk Rider decks had more different cards in the deck. <coughs> and it's pretty similar up there for X-Quest. Like in one deck they have Inferno Dragon, in the other they have Inferno Tower. Lava Hound is doubled, Baby Dragon is doubled. And then the spells. Spells not done. Golem getting burned. Yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem. They both have enough Inferno. Inferno power. Not only tower, but also Inferno power. That's what they have. Lava Hound in the pocket. I feel like the Lava Hound is more dangerous, especially with the clones. Look at the clones there. And the miners doing chip. All those spells. It's a spell mania. Welcome to spell mania. Next Lava Hound and then the Golem in his own pocket. Golem gonna get burned by the Inferno Dragon. Got fireball though. Now you gotta stop that inferno dragon. It's a pain. Olamite. It's super close here. Super. Super close. They already placed the inferno tower there to defend the tower. Pushing left lane. They gotta do something about that Inferno Dragon always burning their golem. Maybe the snowball is enough. Now double dragon on the Inferno Dragon. That worked. Fireball a little bit too late. Just a little bit too late. A little bit too expensive. That didn't work. Lava Hound. Yeah, it's very close. Now 7... 748 748 Then there's a golem They're very low on elixir. Maybe that's it. Maybe they can't stop the golem now Very low on elixir. Ah golem explodes early though Explode very early the prince Maybe if the prince gets a stab But there's the barbs Poison Poison on the barbs. What you gonna do when the poison's there for you? <coughs> this is tough. Tank versus tank. But it's very cool to see how those decks are constructed. See that with the snowball, but then the lightning's faster. Let's go. In 2v2. So newbie sticks to golem. <clears throat> and now XQ also with the golem. So this is gonna be a heavy one here. Golem, 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 go get him. It's gonna be all golems here on the map. Crazy! And clone! Holy cow, golem and clone and wow. That's gonna be crazy. Golemite. Prince there trying to defend for XQ. Good start for XQ. Mega minions. Yeah, they stopped the prince. This is gonna be crazy. Pretty sure we're gonna see double golem. I used to destroy everything in 2v2 with double golem. That was always so strong. And it seems like we did it right. They're doing what we did. When is the next World Royale League game? 
asks my films. Um, the thing is, I don't know yet. Uh, the drawing is this weekend. Drawing who will play against. Who is this weekend, I guess? This coming weekend. But I don't know when the games will be. Probably next weekend. <coughs> Weekend after. Burning another golem. Burn baby, burn baby. Funny how they bl both play double golem now. Are you hyped? For the WRL? Yes, sure. I'm currently most hyped for the Swisscom Hero League final. That's li a live event on Saturday. That's where I'll be on Saturday. Is the next golem? Yeah, of course they have Inferno Tower. Of course they have Inferno Dragons. They're just part of this tank deck. Really hard. But it's really like a 16 card deck. And uh, I really like to see those balanced uh, 2v2 decks. Where it's really like a 16 card deck. It's not just random decks together. It really makes sense what they play together. I got 20 wins, but didn't register. This amazing 2v2. I'm going to be busy the time they go to play. Okay. Yeah, you have to set priorities to the things that are most important for you. Not for anyone else, but for you. Golem again! <clears throat> he makes like, what? It's Golem again! Can't believe it. They play Golem again. What about the opponent team? So far we only see the Infernos. Lava Hound. It's the same thing as the first match. Lava Hound versus Golem. This is a battle of the tanks. An amazing battle of the tanks here. Crazy. But this is really the way to learn to compose great 2v2 decks if you're not playing with random guys. Which I wouldn't recommend anyway. It's incredible. It's sometimes an incredible bad experience. I don't know. Good push though. That golem. Really good. Put some pressure here on XQ. Some good pressure here on XQ. Miner. That minor poison was also pretty good push. <clears throat> and we're in double elixir time. Another lava hound trying. Trying hard. And the inferno tower is ready. I actually think Lava Hound is stronger than the Golem. At least in 1v1 it's usually the deck to win. It's very rarely that the Golem wins against the Lava Hound if they don't make a mistake. Double Golem. One Golem still in, a, in one piece. Minor Poison push. Yeah, that's just gonna be a tower exchange here. Eight seconds though. Oh! Unlucky! He didn't get the tower. Still on 88. That's so unfortunate that it's too late to play poison or anything. That was so crazy. But it's 2-1 here for newbie. 2-1 on ladder. I always play golem on ladder. So you don't have to convince me on this one. I'm a big fan of golem. But in Turnis, in Turnis, uh, Lava Hound most of the time beats Golem. And in 2v2, Golem is also very strong. He 
because in 2v2 you usually don't have tourney level. I think. The thing is, Lava Hound is strong in tourney level. Mortar. Mortar versus Battle Ram. Mortar versus Battle Ram. It's not the best matchup for Mortar. What do you think? Is this a good matchup for Mortar or is it a good matchup for Battle Ram? What do you think, Tolga? Asking you! Defensive Mortar. Baron's going for the Mortar. Poison on the tower. Battle Ram, says Tolga. Yeah, I also think Battle Ram is stronger. I agree. Royal Hawks! Royal Hawks. Good snowball. It's the old school Pekka Bridge Band. Old school? That sounds like it's 20 years old. <coughs> <coughs> the Barbs. Barbs doing good. Oh, the band. Oh, that's Tower. Yeah, if you can't avoid the minions and the barbs are on the tower already, that's it. Cosme also says Ram is better. Yes, we agree. Battle Ram is better than Mortar. And now, especially since Mortar is behind, it's gonna be super, 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 super extra tough on Mortar. Not even with the rocket. It's still funny though that Nowadays, Mortar gets combined with Royal Hawks or Miners or Hawk Riders. No one fully relies on Mortar anymore. It used to be decks with only Mortar and Rocket in it, so that's over. <clears throat> you always have one of those bridge spam cards in it. Royal Hawks, the Hawk Rider, the Miner. It's obviously not a pure bridge spam card. But a direct damage card. And that's a win here for Newbie. 1 0. I'd wish for them to win a match. Mega Minion. Of course, now Newbie here has the chance to make it all clear. Make it sad. They win, it's over. Goblin Giant. Barbarians. Looks like a Royal Giant deck. Against Goblin Giant Sparky. It's not bad for Goblin Giant Sparky. I would love to make a poll. Who thinks Giant Sparky wins against Royal Giant? Or do you think Royal Giant wins? And then he also has Lightning. Lightning, that's gonna make it super hard here. I think the newbie player has the game. Graveyard. I think it's a um, Furnace Graveyard. That may be. That may be. Olga says Giant Sparky wins. I think so too, actually. If he's able to defend the graveyard, which he probably can. There's the royal giant, because there's no sap. There's no sap. Yeah, that's right. Only the snowball. He can only defend with the snowball. How is he gonna stop that furnace? Sparky. Barbarians, of course. Oh, look at the Sparky! Shooting all those barbs! The barbs! Poor barbs! Hey, barbs. It's the next furnace. Still, neither of them has done a lot of damage yet. Royal Giant push. Counter the Sparky. 
He would need those barbarians to defend the Sparky, but maybe he can cycle back fast enough. We'll see. Still some barbarians, but the hunter and the guards taking care of them all. Next, giant Sparky. Up giant, good lightning. Expensive though. The bar block, well defended. Well defended, we're in overtime. Cosme already says GG. Hmm. No graveyard, it's Royal Giant. Could have been graveyard though. It's the Royal Giant. Hunter, I mean, he's got all the cards. He's got the Hunter for the Royal Giant. He's got the Sparky. He's got Lightning. That's really hard here. XQ trying to defend with the Lightning. Now the Goblin Giant's on the tower. For Baron's trying to stop him. There's the next Sparky already. Gonna shoot all those barbs. Look at this. One shot barbs. They're all gone. Gone with the wind. Furnace. Gob giant. Just in front of the Sparky. Just on time. He's gotta play another defensive lightning. He cannot even use the lightning on the tower. That is so sad. Yeah, the team looks frustrated too. Even the team looks frustrated. You're probably supposed to give them advice. I don't know if that's allowed. But they're speechless. You gotta kill the royal giant again. Sparky. Sparky getting to the bridge. What a little Sparky. Getting to the bridge. The lightning. No, that Sparky is still good. Look at this! Ah, he's gonna shoot all the barbs in one! Dang! And the tower! And then there's a lightning! And newbie wins! Not only this set, but the whole game is a win for newbie! Amazing! X-Quest unfortunately again not able to win their first match! Crazy! Newbie! It's amazing! Amazing! <laughs> amazing! Let's